Welcome back to New Day Northwest. This is no surprise to anyone who lives in Western Washington, but we live in a very beautiful state. A new book called Washington Evergreen captures the natural beauty of our state through photography. Two photographers who helped put this book together, Aaron Bobnick and Kevin McNeil, are joining me now. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having us. Thank you. I gotta say right off the bat, um, when I took the book home and had my children looking through it with me, they said, Mommy, this is why we recycle, because we have to keep everything so beautiful. So I'm like, I said, if it can get through to a couple of kiddos. That's awesome. Doing our job. Yep. You're doing your job. So tell us about the Cascadia Photo Group. Uh, well, we are a team of seven photographers. In addition to Kevin and I, mm -hmm. there is da uh, David Cobb, Sean Bagshaw, Kevin McNeil, Adrian Klein, and Chip Phillips. Mm -hmm. And we have been together now 13 years. We're basically a collective of photographers. We each have our own biz photo businesses, but we get together and collaborate on books like this one and workshops and all sorts of things. Well, judging by the photos in the book, you are the best of the best. I mean, these are some of the most phenomenal pictures I've ever seen. Tell me about some of the photos and we're gonna we're gonna breeze through them so y'all can see them too so yeah. what kind of where did you wow I mean where is this well do you want to yeah talk this about is that the enchantments um, this is a beautiful place it's a very tough hike to get to but it is definitely well worth it once you get to the top it is a stunning place so these are larches that you're looking at they're absolutely beautiful and they and we've got a beautiful sunrise here. This is a photo from Zach Sneff. And uh, yeah, this is an incredible morning for him and, uh, and definitely one of the best best hikes in all of Washington, without a doubt. Where this yep. is beautiful too. Yep. What is this? This is Dry Falls. This is actually in the scab lands of Eastern Washington. So this is a beautiful place. And uh, you know, not a lot of people get here. So that's yep. what makes this place unique. It's this, so, and uh, this is Beacon. This is this is actually very unique. The, well, you've got the nice light on here and this is the Columbia and stuff. So this is a nice beacon rock. So this is beautiful. This is actually in Mount Rainier. We all know yeah, Mount we all Rainier. Know that one. We love our Mount Rainier. So yes. well, I do love that the photos in this book cover such a wide uh, and diverse amount of of land, and you know, like you showed the Eastern Washington Shrub Step. That's beautiful. That's yep. my. I love that. Uh, these photos are phenomenal, and honestly, uh, just a gift to all of us. What was the group's process for capturing all the photographs needed for the book, and how long did it take? It's really a project that began when the, before the group even began because the reason that Timber Press came to us originally for an Oregon book, which mm -hmm. we did, and that was successful, and so we moved on to the Washington book, was because we had this massive archive of photographs going back 15, 20 years even. Wow. So about, I think we, we reckoned 80% of what, into, what went into the Washington book came from our archives. Mm -hmm. And then we just spent the last year or so filling in some gaps when we realized that there were areas that we could have covered more thoroughly, more deeply, more thoughtfully. Yeah. We returned and, and spread out to some areas which uh, we could keep going and going, you know, yes. that we hadn't been to because right. Washington just has so much so to offer. Much. We really it do. It just doesn't end. It's just so much yeah. to see. And it's like the list just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And Washington is so diverse, has so many beautiful spots. And just, yeah, it's beautiful. Seeing your photography, it's really jaw dropping. And I don't think, I think in this world now where everyone is snapping a picture here or there and throwing a filter up on it, can you kind of talk about what it takes to get that perfect shot? Well, oftentimes a lot of go <laughs> returning to a place. Oh, yes. Very Over often, the, whatever motivation that you have in mind may not be on offer that day. So it's a combination of being able to think on your feet and other times just being willing to try again. Yep. <laughs> there are no <laughs> auto settings on no. your uh, DSLR, I'm imagining. Not necessarily. Just, no. <laughs> just returning and returning and returning. Yeah. And you really get to know a place intimately when you return and you go back. And then you get to start to see the little nuances that really make that place special. Yeah. That's when you capture something special. Thank you for yes. sharing. I mean, that's the secret behind yeah, it. And thank it you really for is. sharing that. Um, what do you hope people take away from the book? Well, we hope what people really are impressed by is the great diversity that Washington has mm -hmm. on offer. And what we have in the book is just a representation of it. It is just scratching the surface. So we hope that people are inspired to go explore Washington mm -hmm. and find some of the places that we haven't even Found. We're not necessarily directing people to these specific locations because it does help conservationally. People spread out more yeah. and really explore, and Washington is the perfect state for that. There is just so much to yeah. discover here. Go find your own beauty. All that's, right. That's perfect. <laughs> that's the way, best way I would say it. There's so much beauty. Go find it. I yeah. love it. Thank you yeah. for sharing this book. This is so beautiful. What a great gift, folks, for, for anyone on your holiday shopping list, for sure.